Don't forget folks, before we go any further, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, like the video and all that jibber jabber, and thank you very much for supporting Invincible Asia. Also known in the West as Top Squad and as Lady Enforcers in the Philippines, the Inspectors Wear Skirts has long been a firm favourite for many fans of Hong Kong action cinema, packed with hilarious comedy, a wonderful cast and plenty of exciting martial arts action. The film tells the story of a ragtag group of female police officers in training who become a crack team of tough, no-nonsense commandos known as the Banshee Squad. While having to deal with harassment and embarrassment from their male colleagues, and contend with team fallouts over the boys, the girls are sent to take on a group of highly trained international criminals which proves to be their biggest mission yet. While not as action packed or as serious as the Yes Madam and In the Line of Duty films, Iron Angels trilogy or most other Hong Kong femme fatale series made around this time, the Inspector Wears Skirts film wins over its audience with its silly humour and fun fight sequences. Produced under the watchful eye of Golden Harvest and producer Jackie Chan, who also puts his stunt team to work as the action choreographers of the piece. <laughs> 1988 was a busy enough year for the Keen of Hong Kong action cinema, having just came off the brilliant Project A2, before going on to the troubled but amazing Dragons Forever with Sammo Hung and Jun Byo. He would also write, direct and star in the equally exciting Police Story 2, not to mention deliver featured songs for both films. Aside from producing this, Jackie would also produce the critically acclaimed Rouge, starring the late, great Anita Moy and Leslie Chung, and would go on to do the same for Inspectors Wear Skirts 2 the following year. From its highly memorable introductory action scene that sees two female officers take down a gang of ninja assassins on a film set with director Wilson Chin making a cameo in his very own job role, to the countless training activities the girls are put through, the inspector wears skirts has enough going for it to keep action fans happy with choreography supplied by the highly respected team from the Jackie Chan Stuntmen Association. From classics such as Dragon Lord, Project A, Police Story, Armor of God and Drunken Master 2 to modern hits such as Vanguard, Dragon Blade, Kung Fu Yoga and Ride On, the team have created some of the finest action ever seen on screen, shared over the years by many generations that have totaled over 100 members. As a guest star of the film, fan favourite Cynthia Rothrock gets to show her impressive move once again and steals the show with every action scene that she appears in. Originally supposed to be his final challenge in the legendary Armour of God, a dream project that was then scuppered due to Jackie's close brush with death and a clash of schedules after that, the Inspector Wears Skirts would be the only time Rothrock and Chan would directly work with each other, which is a damn shame. In the film, Cindy is paired with popular Hong Kong starlet Sybil Hu, a trait that she has been charged with since making her debut alongside Michelle Yeoh in the incredible Yes Madam. A memorable bit part would follow in Sammo Hung's Millionaire's Express, followed by an amazing showcase in Wong Jing's Magic Crystal, then a Jun Byo's martial arts equal in the powerful Riding Wrongs. Interestingly, it would only be the Blonde Fury which would follow this in 1989, which would give Miss Rothrock her first Hong Kong film as the leading lady. The prolific Sybil Hu stars as Madame Wu, the beautiful and feisty leader of the Banshee Squad. Since making her big screen debut in 1979, this Taiwanese actress has went on to star in 75 features, impressing in most and gaining a huge following the world over thanks to her roles in films such as My Lucky Stars, Devil Hunters, Angel Terminators 2, Dreaming the Reality, Holy Virgin vs. the Evil Dead, Lethal Panther, Fatal Mission, and the Inspector Wears Skirt series. Shaw Brothers Queen, Kara Hoi Ying Hung, stars as one of the main members of the team in what was, quite possibly, her 55th movie since making her debut just a decade earlier. Going on to star in over 160 films to date, Kara would become a staple character of the series throughout its following three sequels. The hilarious Sandra Ng, 
who also continues throughout the series, as well as starring in her own spin-off movies known as Operation Pink Squad, delivers a memorable and comedic performance alongside Billy Lau, Anne Bridgewater, Alex To, Ellen Chan, Michael Choi, Regina Kent, Mars, and the great Stanley Fung as the leader of the Tiger Squad. Although he had served as the assistant director on many Sammo Hung titles from the late 70s through to 1985, Wilson Chin would make his directorial debut with the Jackie Chan produced Naughty Boys, going on to look after the sequels as well as directing films such as Prince of the Sun, Ghostly Vixen, Super Lady Cop, Crazy in Hong Kong and many more. And while many of those would offer plenty of enjoyment and some box office success, it would be the inspector's worst skirts that would prove to be his biggest hit, bringing in over 15 million Hong Kong dollars and becoming his best known title for many Hong Kong film fans around the world.